fountain. I'm sorry. I'm like ADHD. I just got distracted by this beautiful fountain. So this is where they would wash their feet and wash their everything, their hands and faces. Yes, right in the center we have the Arabic. Arabic. If any of you out there know what that says, let me know. Wow, the echo in here, the, the, the acoustics in this is really amazing. So in meeting up with uh, Dawdi, uh, David, learning that his uh, father is uh, from kind of like across the border in Albania, it's really bizarre because before you draw in border lines and territories and whatnot, an Albanian was 100 miles south, 100 miles west, 100 miles in every different direction. So um, you never know what nationality people really are because until they tell you. because. We've been having so many discussions and his, his dissertation had a lot to do also, or one of his dissertations for his master's had to do with nationality and cultures, um, which was a big part of his Ottoman Empire uh, paper, which, as I've mentioned before, he um, learned Turkish so that he can go to school in Istanbul and um, write it in Turkish. And he thought he was going to have problems with the Turkish officials because of him not being from that country. So, um, it all passed. He's got a few sources to update, but it's fascinating being invited into this region where I'll be doing some hiking for the next couple of days before I go south and hit up one of their other national parks and do some hiking down there. So here I'm in uh, Pecha, which is an Islamic um, center where very often they meet and have a chala, which is like a time to discuss or talk. They talk what, philosophy or talk? Religion. Religion, yeah. This is where they would have that. So right now, what, what town are we in? Tetova. 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 This is where I'm going to begin my journey up the hill to do some hiking to a waterfalls. Wow, that's really, really very beautiful. It's okay that I film? Yeah. What was this down here? Maybe they would store stuff, keep stuff. Uh... Oh, look at that. So obviously this is where they would sit and gather. Tell you an interesting story. That this building over here, this stone, yeah. now the Sunni Muslims are using for praying. It's like a mosque. And if you see the minaret, it looks like a chimney. Mm -hmm. And so they are arguing if it is a minaret or a chimney. So the Shia Muslims <laughs> they are saying it's a chimney and the Sunni Muslims say no, it's a minaret. But you can see yourself and judge. I don't know what the reality of this is. Okay, so Dowdy was saying the, the building we're going to see to the left of this has some great blue um, architectural wooden doors. 
but but this is either a chimney or a minaret. So the Sunnis and the uh, Shia are fighting over or have argued over whether this is a chimney or a minaret. So if you know what this is, if you have an idea or an opinion, let us know. I want to get in there. A what yard? Oh wow! Yeah, of this uh, stone building. Noticing some of these symbols on the top of this headstone. I don't want to get too close because some people might get upset, but I'm going to... I wonder if the rounded ones mean something different. Fascinating blue painted windows and shutters of this part of the Sunni temple. And this is the outer wall. Okay, so in discussing the where and the whereabouts, this waterfalls is not there's no waterfalls right here. There's no waterfalls there. Um, this gentleman who hikes it all the time, he is saying that um, it's impossible. You're saying also there might be, what, there? Animals? Tigers? No, you mean, you mean... Oh, wild pig. Wild boar. Mm, wild boar is yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Very dangerous. And he was also saying how from here, he showed me pictures that it's way too cold right now to go. And then if you can see this, this area here, it's a steep drop. It drops just like a cliff going into nothing. So there's really no water there. There's no reason for me to hike here because it's not what I thought it was. Um, it looks nothing, since it's July, it looks nothing like, it doesn't look anything like this right now. It's supposed to look something like this. Too dangerous, too many animals. He was saying bears and big bears and uh, other dangerous animals. So, not doing that. Ah, uh, now there is a waterfall. <laughs> That's where I was, yeah. Okay, we are closer. So from that village, it's like two hour walking. You can go walk. From the village of Lish, Lish. That's what I... We are close to one village before the Shalit, Bozovsa. So we can go to Bozovsa. Bozovsa. And from in two hours, we can be in that place. Beautiful. So I can do that tomorrow. Is there a place to stay in Pozovsa or should I just stay here? My sneakers now because it's going to be a pool in there that I got across, I think. Maybe, maybe I won't take off my shoes right now.
From the village of Lish, Lish. that's what I. We are close to one village before the Shalit, Bozovsa, so we can go to Bozovsa. Bozovsa. From in two hours, we can be in that one. Beautiful. So I can do that tomorrow. Is there a place to stay in Pozovsa or should I just stay here? I am not English, and the person who is just not on the plane, I know that they Okay, he proposed that we go now, and there is a man that he knows him, and I will call, we will find him, and he will make your place for sleeping. Oh, excellent! So I can get a, a place in Pozovska. Yes. And then start the two-hour hike tomorrow. Yeah. Is he going to meet me tomorrow, or or am I just going by myself? You just walk, and then you can come uh, back. back walk. Right, and then I can I can have him call me a, a taxi, or I walk all the way down back to here. All the way back down to here. Beautiful. That's that's beautiful. And you can ride a horse. Oh my goodness! I haven't been on a horse in twenty years. Yes, horse. Yes, I can do that. Maybe you need your guns too. Do you have your guns? I can use your guns. No, no, don't need the guns. <laughs> no, don't need the guns. <laughs> No bears. All right, so I definitely need uh, English. Hey, what's happening? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I, I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. Is there a volume? I'm sorry? I would like to, um, am I staying at his house? In Bozovce, in his village, say in his village, in his village. Well, what I need is I, I, I would like to stay one night, tonight, and then go up to the waterfalls tomorrow, and then uh, after like two or three hours, come back to your house, Pick up my backpack and then come back down here to Tozovo. 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 Okay, so how long will it take you? Or when are you coming in from uh, Skopje? Two hours. Okay, two hours, two and a half hours, no problem. No problem.